What's up, YouTube? This is your boy here, Fred Daniel, aka Back with another YouTube video, and today we're playing Moss in a virtual reality game about a mouse, I guess. Yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and, and yes, I'm moving this around with my hands, like see if I can draw Big D, here, D, or actually let me spell it, Big G, D, there we go. So it's like a story game. Turn the page. Moss. Your time has come. Oh they shit. Whoops. The Cinder Knight. What came from those dark Whoops, starless I didn't mean skies to skip by that. changed the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, in library, and adornment I think, fixed. I think. But the glass Looks was like never it. found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous. Argus charged back to join the sprite champion at the mire's edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass, and awaiting its next hero. Okay. I guess we're, like, in the book now? Or it's telling our side of the story? That hero albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. The fuck? Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge Aww. of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Look how close I can get. Like, I'm, I'm literally... When I was doing that, like I was, my face was literally on the floor. <laughs> like, 
like literally on my floor. I felt my chin hit the floor. <laughs> Cause I'm like setting down. What you got there? Wow, this looks so good. This looks so beautiful. In she was here. not exactly sure what she roused, <laughs> but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Wait, is that me? Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night would that follow. That is me. Look at that. Woo woo. Yo. It's an. A virtual reality RPG game. That is what's up. That's awesome. So I'm just watching down on over top. And we're controlling it from like top view stuff like style. That's that's awesome. When you're in here, it's just a total different experience. Totally different experience. Okay, so I have to help him or her. Kind of like a uh, puzzle. Like, that's literally what we're doing. Can we double jump? No. No double jump. We don't need you getting crushed. Alright, so climb up over here that's so cool hi that's cool too she that's so cool he can see me look at him look he's looking at me when I do that whoa a little I'm like up in your face hi <laughs> what am I what am I? I legit feel like I'm talking to a mouse. <laughs> and I almost forgot this is a game. Wow. That's crazy how I just got immersed into that. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Climb over here, right? Can you can you jump up? Oh shit. Alright, you can't swim. Oh, I see. There's something down there. Yeah, you see that? And then yeah, we're right here. This is so cool. Alright, so move this over. But what does that do? Can I... Can't jump up or anything. Wait, I just thought of something. What if... Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about now. Jump, jump. Well, climb. You get the saying. There's a scroll right there. Okay, 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 okay. So we jump up here, and we got bringing this up over. Okay, doing some work. Doing. 
climb now, mouse. We got climb. There you go. Grab the scroll. We need that. And we'll go through this. Yeah. Give me that trophy. Yo, I can actually get lost into this game. Like, I can literally get find myself playing this game. Like, to the end. Where am I? I ain't that. Oh, there I am. There you are. I almost thought I lost ya. Look, I could, I could pet him. Hi. That's so cute. I'm not even gonna lie. And then he's a badass when he gets his sword out. Like I said, it's pretty cool RPG game. You have to have VR though to play it, so that's. That's like the downfall, like, if you don't have VR, then you can't play this game. Alright, how... How am I getting this open? Climb... Up where? Oh, I can open it, duh. But there's a scroll up there, so let's try getting that you see that right the scroll is straight ahead all right Can I, can I not fight him? Okay. Can we roll? Can we do anything like that? I don't think we can roll. Maybe not yet. I'm hitting the water. That's so cool how I can interact with the... Okay, so this is a, a village. Okay. Let's talk to people. I like how when it transitions into that, you can hear a book page turning. Like, like we're literally like reading a story out of a book. Literally what's going on. I like how he can see me. Look how I'm looking at. Alright. What? What? Oh. Oh, yeah, I could I could slow that down for you. Yeah.
try to get on the other side. If I can. Alright, here we go. Maybe. Oh, there's a lever up there. I didn't even see that. How do I get. How do I. Oh, wait, I know how. Okay, now. Can you jump up that? No, you cannot. Shoot. I gotta get up top. to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you. Here. Right now. Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. <sighs> I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night.
Hey, kid. Kid. Wake up. Hey, kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're too bold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey, Starling, wait! Quill had never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. I'm actually, I don't even know if I was talking or not, but like, and I'm sorry for that, but like, wow, I'm really getting like, immersed into this game. Like, I'm really digging it. The scenery, the gameplay seems really awesome. And the story seems like it's getting pretty juicy. So, wow. Like, 10 out of 10. For real. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Okay, and then move this. Okay, good enough. And then we gotta climb up here. Kind of skedaddle over here. Bring this back over. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and then I gotta bring this back. Well, that's trippy. But yeah, her uncle seemed very... This way, like, kid. like something's up. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Something's up when we told him that. That's that's the thing. What? I don't even know what we're dealing with yet. Whoa. There's deer over there. I like how everything's so tiny over here, and then you got like the big world over here. Look at the moon. I'm telling you. They did an amazing job with this. Whoa. Don't want to fall. Apparently, we can't swim. And that's some nasty water. Nasty water. You didn't see anything. You, you didn't see anything. You're just watching a mouse jump across. Yep, go back to your drinking. Pick that up. There we go. Well, whatever this is, it's helping us. Oh, shoot. There's a scroll over there. Oh, wait. I think I know how to get it. Through here? Is there... Is there... Not a hole there? Okay. I guess we'll move on.
We're gonna need them scrolls though. Eventually. The starting is shorter. Oh, there's the uncle's uncle squirrel. There. Why did he come over here? There's nothing but nothing but water. So, this is swamp water. Something for a mouse. Shouldn't be playing it. <laughs> We're like little stort, stort little. <laughs> oh man. There's stort little. Riding on a raft. The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Gee, thanks. Put it that way, huh? What are we fighting? Oh, shit. Wait. I, I gotta help. There we go. Not a problem. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing happening to you. Shoot, our first enemy. Alright, so this is who we're fighting now. Let's get it. Oh, shoot. Ouch. It's 
like an owl looking thing. And those look like beetles. through the trees fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power a small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding quill I'm Veda root seer of the mire and you have crossed into our domain. I like the fact the whole time we're just reading a book. Then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer! I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The Arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters. Oh, we got a new power? The warrior few. Whoops, I did not mean to turn the page. But it looks like we got a new power. Shit. I want to see this. So what is it? Just a... Oh, okay. It's just a better sword. Okay. That's still, that's still cool. Definitely cool. Oh, shoot. There's a scroll right there. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it right here. I'm really definitely digging this game. I don't know if I'm going to, like, record. If you guys do want to see more of this, I will do more video. But, like, it's definitely something I can just see myself merging into just myself and just beat in this game. Because it seems I I'm really digging the gameplay for sure. And the story seems interesting. And the scenery is just... I mean, absolutely beautiful, breathtaking. So, um, 
if you do want to see more, leave a like. And um, I think I'll end it here with this scroll. Until next time, guys. Peace out. And I forget your name, but she says, peace out. Yeah, you like that? Alright, peace out, everyone.